Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Hello. It's Thursday. It has been four days of operation. Early wake up. And you know what? It's, it's doing okay. I'm doing better. I'm feeling present. <laughs> you know? Before, I was a little bit concerned about, you know, falling asleep on stream and embarrassing myself. And today, yeah, four days. Took about four days to adjust. How y'all doing, everybody? Good morning. Welcome. So great to see you. A reminder that this Saturday is when Desert Bus starts, at which point I'm going to be taking a whole week off. And we'll have to figure out tomorrow if... um. I stream or not. Uh, basically, today after the stream, I'm going to go do a bunch of work around the venue. And depending on uh, <laughs> depending on how much work there is to do, we'll figure out if I have the opportunity to stream tomorrow or not. Good morning, Joshua Matthews. It's been nice being able to have you in the background while it's working. I'm glad. Hate that. What's up, Zed? What's up, Dean Map? Morning, friends. Yeah, I, I'm going to be honest. I've been semi-tempted. Be like, what if I just streamed at this hour forever? And I was like, ah, man, waking up at five every day. It's not really something I'd uh, like to do by choice. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Does that make sense? And something I haven't had to do yet is I haven't had to do like an evening blur stream. So if I'm waking up at 5, what happens when I have like a 5 p.m. work thing, you know? Even if like, I don't know how many of you have worked split shifts before. That can be kind of a pain in the butt. Because I'm just thinking like, like a 14 hour day, even with a even gap in the middle. You never have to adjust for desert bus again. That's true. Today's the best day I've had all day. Wait, today's the best day I've had all day. Note, I mark days based on when I wake up and when I've went to sleep. I've been awake for 93 hours. That's too long. <laughs> uh, that's too long. Jeez. You wake up super early for work. It makes waking up early a lot less fulfilling. That's fair. Yeah. How am I not dead? Yeah, 93 hours of sleep is, um, or wake is, yeah. Mm. I, I'm tired just thinking about it. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sarkhan? Oh. Uh, other things that I'm proud of myself for, insomnia, yeah, there. Other things that I'm proud of myself for, uh, despite my weird sleepiness, I also managed to get in a workout last night, which means I'm now two weeks back to every other day, which I was really proud of myself. I got on that route, that routine in May, question mark? And now it's November. Oh, wow. So I started working out fairly consistently in May. And then I got busy in September, I want to say. And that's not to say that I, like, I stopped completely, but I wasn't, I wasn't managing to continue my every other day sort of thing. And now we're back on and I'm feeling pretty good about that. What is my workout? I have a kettlebell. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I, I said this like as a meme a couple weeks ago. Like, hey, do you want to get desert bus fit? Do 10 minutes of caramel dancing. And I'm going to be honest, I can't do 10 minutes of caramel dancing. It's too intense. I, <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was um, bad, but maybe that was just memories. And then what I was actually, yeah. Anyways, it, it, <laughs> I've been caramel dancing as part of like a cardio point, I can do almost the entire song start to finish, which is three minutes. And like, 
I'd, I'd argue that a semi sprint pace for three minutes is pretty high intensity for somebody who works from home, you know? But yeah, uh, I have a kettlebell. I do sit ups and push ups, um, a bunch of just like sort of weird. I don't know. I kind of just made it up myself, this routine based on a bunch of like old weird sports and things that I've done. 10 minutes of caramel dancing, tired to think about it. Didn't Kathleen do like 30 minutes of caramel dancing one year? How? Is she a cardio machine? Ernst is. Yeah, one of the things that I'm I'm really proud of is I have like actual actual legitimate gains from um, my workout thing. So for example, uh, I have a 25 pound kettlebell, which for it's like 10 kilos for non Americans. And previously, everything I did with it kind of sucked, and now I can actually do like I can actually do like um, bicep curls bicep curls with a 10 kilo kettlebell how cool is that i don't know like my little bit of pride for that particular one my workout right now is moving into a hundred year old house the stairs are so steep oh yeah vfx or kathleen is incapable of dropping the bit which is how she did it yeah i think i actually think this is how long i've been doing desert bus Man, was 30 minutes of caramel dancing? What year was that? Like, does anybody actually remember that? What was that? Like, Desert Bus 8? I almost want to say it was at the old moon base. Which is even wilder. Hey, anyways, while we're, um, while we're chatting about stuff, it was in a moon base. I think that was in a moon base. Interesting. Oh, thank you, Inquisitor Gaia. Hey, welcome back to Milver Idol. Um, <laughs> I've completely abandoned my fire making schedule, and I've been thieving the whole time. And that's because I also got these sneakers. And anyways, the the reason I got distracted is I'm one quest away. Fifty four quest is a break point. One quest away from being able to buy a better wood cutting shirt. To let me get the woods I need to actually burn them all. <clears throat> Sneakers is a very good job. Thank you. So one of the things I've been really hoping for is a one in 20,000 item drop. And uh, let's see if we got it. Oh my God, I didn't. Are you kidding me? I got five of the unique drop, but I didn't get the, oh my goodness. How was that possible? So hold on. So chance of unique NPC item is 0 0.015. Can somebody please tell me what are the odds of getting something once if it's a 0.015% chance? Any mathematicians, Abel? I can't do math at this hour. Not great. Well, hold on. I, <laughs> so what I want to do here is I hit. Okay, that's one in 7,000. Okay. I rounded up a bit. One in every 6,666 repeating times. I hit that five times. But I didn't hit the one in 20,000 ever. Five times I hit the mini jackpot. <laughs> I am upsetty. Well, I mean, I guess I can start moving around. So the goblin chief, I've now hit all of their drops. What do goblins have? Nothing. Okay. Do you have a unique drop? I don't care. Do you have a unique drop? Sure. 
Oh, that's frustrating. It looks like you may have only hit it three or so times if it doubled your drops. That's true. I guess so, Sir Garrett Cameron. I could have hit it three times because I do have a 33% chance to double. Uh, no, you're totally, you're, you're correct in that one. All right. Well, I mean, I'm just going to keep leveling my thieving, I guess, and trying to see if I can hit more of the uh, unique area drops while we grind. Oh, man. <laughs> On the plus side, I'm up to 36 million dollar dues now. That's kind of cool. Too early in the morning for probability math. I agree. All right, what else are we doing here? Uh, no, not thieving, farming. <clears throat> oh, level 99 mastery on yew tree. That's kind of cool. I just used the ones I had seeds of. What was the rule? No math before 11? Yep. Yeah. Oh, speaking of new ship builds, <clears throat> speaking of new ship builds, how do I, where do I find blueprints? You know what I mean? How do, where do I actually, because people have asked me to share some of my designs on, um, on the Discord or the Shredder. You have to throw up the horns every time you say the Shredder. How do I do that? Imagine it's in like my weird save games folder somewhere. Wait, there's new armor and structure shapes in the patch. I'm sorry, it patched literally again. Oh my God, update. Yeah. Wow, this game updates way too much in a good way, I guess. Corner Raiden. Regular update. Add a new aesthetic armor and structure pieces, including a one by three wedge triangle structure and armor structure hybrid leading destroyed command rooms were only to trigger the insufficient command points message wow they've also added six new built-in faction ships the atlas maya morope odysseus raficent and rocker Fixes and tweaks to the other 22 pre-existing uh, ships. Huh. Bits look even cooler. All right, hold on. So... Trying to figure out where this game would be. I think I'm in the right folder. I'm in like the app data roaming folder. I don't have a Cosmoteal folder though. Yeah, I, I'm incapable of figuring this out in this hour. <laughs> uh, maybe that's a, that's a problem for future us. All right, half a coffee left to go. Um, I feel like I'm doing much better. Honestly, doing much better. I've been watching old Mine O'Clock, which is great, except I'm doing it whilst I'm playing my own Minecraft, and sometimes I think the Mine O'Clock mobs... Yeah, no, that's... It's like the most classic Minecraft thing. Is like you're chilling, you're doing your own thing, and you're watching somebody play Minecraft, and you hear a creeper, and you die inside. Classic.
Am I stressed or excited for boss? Nothing's really hit yet. I'm gonna be ending um I'm gonna be ending a little early today because I have to go like actually do desert bus work. But early, I mean it's like five hours from now still. <laughs> if you hear a scav activate, I can't I can't play Tarkov while watching anything else. Like I'll have you on Tarkov. I'll I'll have you on stream, Funko. But if I'm doing that, I actually mute the stream because it's my brain. My game still stresses me out too much. <laughs> Wait, Pearl has phantom noises as a notification? Man. Well, it's like James and his creeper noises, right? What's up, Lamina? <laughs> it's easy to watch you, Funko, because you're normally just sorting inventory or crafting. Mm. Or you mean you're normally sorting inventory or crafting while you're watching streamers. Both are true. There's a mod on the playthrough yesterday that plays mob sounds through a note block when I has a head on it. it. Scared the crap out of me when I clicked a note block with a creeper head on it. That's very funny. I think Joe Kim got me with that in um, Serafina's Phoenix's Assorted Goodies pack. Did like a whole jump scare where he put a creeper head on an armor stand. And then so when I, he like saw where I logged out. And when I logged back in, there was the creeper face in front of me and a sensor that played the creeper hiss noise. It was a very good prank. It's the saddest part of the morning. The part of the morning where my coffee is empty. But that also means we get the transition to an exciting part of the morning. Part of the morning where we play video games. Want to play some games, everybody? Here's bugging me this morning. so muted yeah thank you no 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 you're right what was the last thing you heard me say what's up ghost doll surge you got me into melver idol if you're in the discord post your stats i'm always curious tell you what i really thought oh Did I mention um, Soulstone Survivor before I muted or no? Ah, it doesn't matter. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to the game. All right. So for those of you who were watching yesterday, actually, for those of you who weren't, we had a whoopsie. We had a whoopsie and we barely survived. So you might notice uh, a gap where I was here and now I'm here. We almost died, but we survived and we made it out. And today, today we get revenge. More shields? No, the, it, it, again, it's not, it's not, it's not, it was an execution problem. We took a fight. We won it cleanly. And then as we were scavenging, um, we kind of spread out a little bit. Another ship, a tier 10 ship, started attacking Lydia. And we were able to take that ship out but not before they destroyed Lydia's cockpit leaving her functionally dead in the water which was very scary very very scary so then as we were recovering from that two more tier 10 ships ambushed us and the first thing they did is they actually destroyed the ion cannon on shredder ion cannon no this is a um, railgun 
So the entire front half of the ship was gone and all of our weapons. And because they had taken out the control room, Lydia wasn't able really to help. But luckily the two pirates would occasionally like fly out for half a second and f and fight each other and then come back and then fight each other and then come back. It was terrifying. So basically, at the end of it, we were forced to emergency warp. We managed to get all three of our ships out. You might notice we were completely out of iron plates and we're down probably the better part of 100 to 200,000 credits as we had to buy the tri-steel necessary to repair our ships. It was um, very stressful. Very stressful, very close to... Now, we did say there was no Iron Man in 6am, but I am also proud of the fact that we did manage to escape. That we... Um, that we were able to get out and lick our wounds. Anyways, now is the revenge arc. Uh, we're going to head back. We're going to, we're going to, you know, we're going to get mad. I'm already maxed out on tier nine quests. Are you kidding me? Whatever. Stop trying to make missiles happen. Missiles aren't happening. All right. So first things first, let's do a little, let's do a little baby warm up mission. See how things are going. We need to get some resources back up and we can consider a, um, consider a redesign after that. But first things first, the revenge, the revenge arc. <laughs> <clears throat> we mark the ships that we want to scrap as well as where large pieces of our resources are floating around. The ship might be able to help us in here, actually. All right, keep in mind we are looking for uh, big C copper. We're also looking for Tritanium. Yes, these two are fighting. Good. Well, that's a lot of pirates. TR. Uh, did you? Hello? Uh, no, that's worth it. Now they fighting up here? Oh, are they fighting? All right. Yeah, wow. That is certainly a dead ship, isn't it? The big C, a.k.a. Carbon, that's right. time. You ready? This is our warm-up. What are you? Tier 9. Wow. That's actually kind of spooky. It's a lot of shields, isn't it? Ion beam emitters. I hate that for me. Good morning, Gunner. 51 months of Tier 2. That's wild. I was going to talk about my favorite rank of nobility. But I know it's a bit early. Good morning. Not driving eight hours today so I can watch the shredding and splatting while Lydia bears the burdens to witness instead of just listening and using my mind theater. What's up, Shane? The attack. Didn't I use better sensors? What do you mean? I have better sensors on my uh on my shredder. 
Don't I? Is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> what shields? Oh my god. You got this, buddy. Them up. Bye. <laughs> Alright, how do we do? Did I take any damage? Basically zero damage. Alright, that feels pretty good. The fact that I can still bully like a tier uh tier what was that tier nine, tier ten ship? I want everything. When did I start building a fleet? At what fame? I think I started getting my factory ship at around fame level 5. Is Railgun set to shoot your target? They should be. Maybe they're not. I thought the last thing we did was um, just that. Fire a target, yeah. one way to stop it from firing constantly. Yeah, and we got our third ship at um, uh, only pretty recently. So it's like fame level... We're currently, we're maxed out at fame level 9. I think that means we're fame level 10. Two things I wish this game had. One, I wish... It would show you the approximate, like, threat level of your ship. You know what I mean? So, like, is that coming right for me? It might be. So, like, what is Shredder? You know what I mean? Oh, my ships are idiots. There we go. Good lord. <laughs> Ooh, Keska say. I mean, that looks impossibly metal, right? Is it slow or is it rotating? It's slow. <laughs> the railgun is weak. Pardon? You want to take that again? The railgun is weak? Hello? Gun is weak. <laughs> Flee. Fine. up to about 3,000 steel. You tow ships? Not yet, no. You can kind of force push ships, but you can't really tow them. I 
This is kind of useless. I grabbed this because I thought I needed it. I was looking at it in practice. Like, what are these? What is this doing? <clears throat> a disruptor on the third ship has a door issue. Oh, I did. Um, I did accidentally delete that door, didn't I? Thank you. I think we might have to design, redesign Splat. Oh, that's just all missile storage, isn't it? It's kind of funny. Missile and bullet storage. Should be another ship here. <laughs> Past tense. Uh oh, oh, it's up here, eh? Sure. We scrapping? No? Good. I love this. What's up, Psycho Boy? These things are getting shredded? Yeah. What are we getting here? Not the biggest engine, so I don't think we're going to get any tri-steel, but we'll probably get, yeah, a lot of hypercoil. That's kind of cool. Alright, uh, I think I have one more ship to loot, and maybe some TR. What's this, by the way? Oh, uranium. Uh, I don't think I care. But what if two uranium? Like six on that rock. Yeah, I don't care. All right, Lydia. Grab all that good stuff, won't you? So one of the questions we need to ask ourselves today, R, is this an R or an is? One of the questions we need to ask ourselves is, there we go. Wait, roaming pirate. I need to kill a couple more of these. Sure. Is, um, do we try and keep going harder and further into the railguns or do we kind of abandon that strategy not again not again not like this do we abandon that strategy and instead focus on um What's happening here? Why can't I? It is marked. Good. Um, and instead focus on like the uh, ion blasters, you know what I mean? So yeah, do we do we continue to refine our existing strategy or do we start doing something new? Oh, it's this ship again. I wonder if I could snipe the control room. Morning, Whirlwind Abyss. Snipe it. You see me? What if I do this? <gasps> I can do that. God, I'm so smart. 
Did I just... Oh my god, I didn't quite take it out? We need to fix up Splat. Bye. Goodbye. This is a problem. This is a problem. Just to say. Is that one of the new ships? I don't know if this is a new ship or not. for me. It's got its back facing us. <clears throat> By the way, check out the flat guns. Love watching them shoot down missiles. Alright. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, we might lose splat here. <laughs> You got this little buddy? Which way are you facing? You just start facing this way. Pew pew! Really? just got back up. Alright. I need Splat to get in there. This might be bad for us. Lydia? Hey, what's up, Lydia? Yes, Lydia. Yes. Developments in space. Oh no, 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 not again. Ah, <sighs> all right. Maybe, maybe Shredder needs a little bit of a redesign here. It's the second time that's happened.
What do I have going for currently? I have two heavy lasers and my shields. Um, ironically, oh no, my fire extinguisher is fine. I was going to say, ironically, did they destroy my fire extinguishers? No, they did not. I'm just going to have Lydia just go straight for the cockpit here. Shredder, you're not doing a very good job of hitting the targets, are you? No, the problem is not that the railgun needs to go backwards faster. It's been suggested a couple of times. I've actually made it stop moving so that I can uh, so that I can keep up. No, don't you dare rotate. No. No. Lydia, what are you doing? Lydia? Lydia? Shredder's doing fine, chat. Out of bullets. Really? Their control room had taken like zero damage so far? Maybe if I pull you back. Where are you going anyways? What like what is this? Maybe you'll leave combat. Those are crews I've abandoned in space? Oh, interesting. All right, you go, you go pick them up. Meanwhile, do we start to panic? No. No, this fight's over. And we've won. It's just at what cost? They're out of bullets, right?
they're out of bullets. You're, you're, it's fine, chat. It's fine. Now they're out of bullets. All right, maybe they're not out of bullets. Do I have like a point defense gun or something that can help here? shooting that's a problem when did that switch back Splat, are you... What? Splat? Oh, some of my thrusters got destroyed. Apparently, Lydia is now out of combat. Oh, interesting. Oh, because I was on top of all of my pieces. Huh. Because I was on top of all of my pieces. Uh, I got everything for free. Okay, we win. Alright, we're just going to disassemble the ship now. That's twice now. Sir just sent you a short guide to share ships in Discord. Thank you. I will I will be checking that out after um after the stream. Hey look, we did it, chat. God, I'm so good at video games. Can you believe how clean that was? <laughs> Alright. I think I think Shredder. I think it's time to retire Shredder. Do I need to steal from it? I've got 2,000. It's probably plenty. Whatever. Sure, let's take it all. Time to become Super Shredder, I guess? Like, I don't know. I don't know what the next step is. I don't know if the step is more defenses, three rail guns, five rail guns. Maybe Shredder as a one trick isn't working anymore. Shorter rail guns, what? Yeah, originally I'd thought about making Shredder um, having a like a two wide corridor up the middle. And then we could put a heavy shield right here. 
It's really awkward, though, because then anybody... I mean, I guess what I could do is I could put a crew quarter directly behind it. A crew quarter and a power source? Hello? The other option is, like, a one thick up the middle and just make it armor. Yeah, so that we don't lose both. I kind of like that they were side by side because it meant that when we um, when we shot at targets, it was highly likely that both of them would hit the same thing. And the further apart we spread the rail guns, like um, a small a small command room, a small control room is only a two by two. But you're right. We've had the same thing happen twice. Our redemption arc is uh, is not off to a great start, you know? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. Where are my, uh, where are my crew carters? Uh, directly between the rail guns that keep exploding. Pardon? <laughs> uh, the what now? The, uh, the rail guns that keep exploding. <laughs> if I put a one by one up the middle, I can do more teeth as well. So the issue with that though, is then our ship becomes an odd footprint instead of an even footprint. And then that's, that's all kinds of stuff. That was a lot of bullet. Bonk. That's just all steel, huh? All right, well, the redemption arc was supposed to begin with us triumphantly bullying other ships. And instead, we were the one who got bullied, which uh, realistically is not very acceptable. Hmm. Am I the only one who prefers an odd footprint for symmetry with the line bisecting the middle column? No, not necessarily. Odd or even is always a, is always a big one, right? All right, um, I actually have to use the washroom. But I want to think about, I want you to think about this as well. Oh, can you, oh, sorry. Can you even walk in the back of a shield room? Yeah, you can. So one wide with just armor down the center or two wide and we put another shield generator down the middle. Let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'll be right back.
Hey, what's up, everybody? All right. We a one wide or we a two wide? What are we thinking here? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna try Ion until we get um, quite a bit more fame. Shields are three wide. What? No, shields are too wide. I mean, I guess we... No, no, no. Shields can absolutely just be too wide. <sighs> One wide with teeth on either side might be enough for now. Yeah? Surge in blueprint mode. Can you check the LI... Liad option? I don't know what that means. Load option. It lets you see all the NPC ships. Well, that's cool. Yo! I have never seen an apotheosis or an atlas. Well, that's kind of cool. The Alnair, 328 crew, 436 crew, 448 crew. Amazing. The Flaming Spire, the Hymn of Radiance. <gasps> oh my goodness. The Unpronounceable. Wow, look at these things. It's like a giant mouth. Well, these are all very cool. All right, let's uh, let's try this really quickly here. Let's try the simplest fix for now. Move it literally one block. Actually, you know what? That's a lot of weight. Nah, we need it though. We need it, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't know what that's going to do to my Mac. Wow, English just fell apart there. I don't I do not know what that is going to do to my max speed is what I wanted to say there. Is that the only change we're making? <laughs> Pardon me. Man, I'm a big sniffle this morning. Morning, host. Wait, I take it back. No uwu before 7 a.m. Too early. So that's the only change we've made thus far. Can some of the armor be scaffolding instead? My worry about that. Okay, so A, if we make it scaffolding instead, if there's an explosion, I don't know if it'll separate the two. So like, 
leaving it as armor means that if one side gets blown up, hopefully the other side doesn't get blown up. You know what I mean? I recall the situation where the rail got... I don't know what... I don't know what hit it. So like, well, yes, uh, I got hit by bullets. <laughs> you know? Lasers at the back? Nah, I, I don't want to plan for the contingency, right? I don't... Because then... If, if like, if the front half of your ship gets blown up, put lasers at the back. It's just like, well, why don't we just solve for the front half of the ship getting blown up, you know? Put flak at the front? Flak takes bullets. Then we'd have to come up with storage for the front. I've got point defense to deal with missiles. It's been an ion beam down the middle? Okay, well, that should, this should protect us in both cases then, you know? Would the center bit look better if it was lower than the shields? What does that mean? I think I'm happy with this. I I do wonder if maybe I should get rid of the um the structural support there and just put more teeth in. I don't know. Are you a fan of the... Uh, oh, interesting. Hold on. I can do this. There's a new option. Is there... Is there another permutation of that one? Or is it literally just that one? It's just that one. And do I hate it? I mean, I don't, I don't mind this. Yeah, there we go. So now we have teeth and um, and not teeth. There we go. Were those in the game before? No, there's literally a patch between yesterday and today. Gives it some depth, yeah. You have center armor extending past your double shield. Yes. Oh, have it further back? No, that's fine. Uh, I have it in line with the... Um, I think that looks better. I like that the lines go there, so it's fine that the armor extends out past. Like, it'll get blown up a little bit, but I don't... I feel like steel is so cheap. I think it makes... I think it's more visually pleasing that it... Uh, that it implies that the blade shape was there, and then, like, negative space was cut in for the rail guns. At least, MO. Uh, I think we can afford to make this railgun one module longer, which is ironic because I think I'd end up destroying one of these. Whatever. More bullet. More DACA. Yeah, there we go. Probably have to give them doors, don't I? These are now 146%, sure. They probably don't go any further forward than that, by the way. If we want it any longer, we just start extending backwards. All right, uh, something else we need to do here. We'll put in a save now. Something else we need to do here. Uh, we need to redesign Splat. Splat's very cute, but you know, you know, Splat, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find a good 45 degree ship that's about 12 people. I mean, that's kind of cute. Ooh. Hey, hold on. What if we did a Regulus? What if we did this?
right? And then we just replace like that. Do you want to give it more thrust, though? Do you think one large thruster is better than the two thrusters here? I think this gives it more turn. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Doors. those lasers couldn't hurt I don't have room besides I wanted to be more streamlined uh actually no maybe you're right maybe you're right maybe keeping those small lasers wouldn't hurt because you're right there have been a couple cases now where uh a little bit of gun variety would have been all right Jackie thank you for cashing in another month from kits there I want to try booth thrusters. Well, that's literally what I'm asking, Cameron. Is I don't actually know if these are better or not. So if we changed large thrusters, wait, what are boost thrusters? Veering to large thrusters that can inject raw plasma directly for a powerful but short-lived boost. What's the footprint of it? It's a two by one. I just wonder if this has better turning. Large thrusters like three normal thrusters. Yes, 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 yes. I understand that it makes going forward better. But what about, is this more maneuverable? Does this do a better job of turning? That's all I'm asking. Find turn comes from having a combination of thrusters. They come in sequence. Yeah, so this might have better turn. Because the two... Maybe we just leave it then. Maybe it's fast because it's lightweight. Hold on, not enough beds. Suggested crew 21? Suggested crew 17. We even... Oh my goodness. We even stripped down what they had previously. So like, how... How did this ship function before? Power of attorney, Jackie, please. Jackie. The base ship just like doesn't come with enough crew, huh? Is it because it was disruptors instead of lasers? Hold on. So let's replace this with a laser and see what happens. So even if I did that, yeah, they do not give enough people to these ships, huh? Not sure how accurate this is. I mean, it literally won't let me build it. <laughs> so, I mean, I think that, that feels pretty accurate. What if I put two beds in the front? Forget armor. Say hello to bed. <laughs> Why can't I build this? I don't understand. So just as 15. 
Not enough beds means I have more crew hired than beds. Oh, I understand. So the problem is currently on here. Man, I wonder about... I do kind of love how janky Splat is. But I think we need a more traditional design here. Is this Splat Mark II? It might be. <sighs> do we hit... Do we hit go? I never actually saved Splat, which makes me pretty sad. Is this an improvement over Splat? Splat hasn't been doing too much lately. Splat's just been dying a lot. I can't save Splat. If I go to save Splat, I lose this. I mean, I guess I didn't really do any work on this, so that's fine. Oh, wreckage. Starters, monolith. Oh. oh, Imperium. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen any of these yet. Wow. Wait, wait, it's a diagonal ship. Wait. Yes. Yes. This, but disruptors. Yeah, the suggested crew for this one is 25. Uh, so what if I did this, but with disruptors? With Splat designed asymmetrically, specifically circle the enemy ships to the right, thus keeping all four weapons firing at the same time. It gave me an idea. Uh, no, it was designed asymmetrically because uh, because I wanted to. <laughs> Is that? Lower the crew requirements? It does a little. I kind of love this, to be honest. Odd to me that there's just an empty space of corridor there, though. Make it that instead. Not nearly enough power? What? What? How does the how does the AI get away with any of these designs? Like what? <laughs> Computer, go home, you're drunk. Are you just cheating? Like what? Just toss in a medium reactor. Explain to me where. <laughs> the ship is very precariously designed as it is right now. I'd have to redo the whole thing. <laughs> simply, if it were me, I would simply redesign the whole ship, make a 3x3 three three in the center instead of a 2x2. Two two. I wasn't asking you to solve it for me. I was making fun of you. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Uh. Do I want this? I 
Definitely don't think it needs heavy lasers. This ship is what we in the industry call extremely vulnerable to bullet. Trying to make it leaner. Leaner and meaner, you know what I'm saying? Isn't this a downgrade? Splat had four disruptors. F Splat had a maneuverability issue. Splat really struggled with um, actually being anywhere near the fight. So the hope here is uh, Splat V2 is going to be able to participate. hyperdrive is now broken. Right, because that was symmetrical. There we go. Sometimes the mirror tool just breaks all your stuff. Do we like this better than the splat? This has two disruptors, and this can actually, like, some of the issues that we had with splat is because splat was mono disruptor, it meant that when they got behind, they couldn't actually do anything. So the hope is now with four, with four lasers, if they get up behind, they can actually start chunking engines. So the disruptors will take out shields and components, whereas the lasers will actually start shredding stuff, you know? Can we get away with two lasers, four disruptors? Not with the current crew. Like we're already a little shy. I mean, we could try it. Right? So if we did this instead. I think maybe the two disruptors are fine. Do I need more forward thrusters? I think we're fine with, with four and four. I think that's balanced. Do I like that better or did I like the lasers better? I think I like the lasers better. Just when I'm thinking about like what we're actually going to be fighting. I think that does. I think this is going to do more work. Shorten the nose a bit. Save on weight. It's such a good shape though. good shape. 
Nah, it's fine. Have a good one, Mama Tats. <laughs> Jordan, please. Jordan? <laughs> Jordan? All right, I'm just going to build this. Welcome to Splat V2. Shredder. Oh no, the paint job. I was really hoping I would also be able to use their paint. Well, it is splat and splat means honorary. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, I put a gunner crew on this, didn't I? I did. So what do gunners do? Gunners are dedicated. So interesting, the priority there is definitely on. So six people just dedicated as gunners. All right, we have two new designs. Design number one is we have separated our, whatever these are called, I always forget. They're called rail guns. We've separated our rail guns, so we stopped getting one shot. Uh, and we have redesigned splat. Lean, mean, engine, kill, and machine. Let's give this a try. Morning, Artemis Huntress. Oh, right. Did I lose any crew? It's a very important question. <laughs> uh, lost 12 people there. Uh, thank you for having me double check that one. All right, Lydia's fine. You know what? Hold on. I think I think Lydia might get an upgrade too. What if, join me on this adventure here. That's two fire extinguishers side by side. What was I thinking? Like, I thought those were symmetrical. What's happening here? Four mining lasers. Really? Wow. That's so expensive crew wise. I, I have all maxed out crew. Oh, you mean why don't I like buy some more people? Eh. Eh. <laughs> Are you telling me I have available crew? How many more people could I hire? Like five? I mean, something I could do then. Hold on. Right, I can do that. So yeah, now we have more shields in the front and more mining lasers. 
Stop trying to make missiles happen, chat. At this point, I will never do missiles. Chat has asked too many times. I now hate missiles. Never even tried them, never will. You've ruined missiles. SMH. SMH my head. Canal, on the other hand, great idea. All right, how are we doing? We got power, we got people, we got the ability to hyperdrive. Love it. I think it's so. I know, I'm sad too, Commander Elk. All right, I need a couple more miners. Uh, congratulations. So hold on. I have six people working as miners currently. What if I made it eight? I think that's enough people. I had six operating two. Now I have ten operating four. Do miners also supply batteries to them? Yes, they do. You know what? In which case, let's make it 12. All right. All right. You happy? Lydia's stronger. Everyone kept calling for Lydia upgrade. Lydia also has more miners now, which I find very funny. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. This was our uh, training, our glow up montage. All right, Splat. What kind of movement does Splat have? So, previous Splat... Oh, right. Hold on. Splat is obviously confused. <laughs> previous Splat could get up to speeds of 60. 42, 45. Okay. Splat Mark 2. Splat Mark II cannot keep up. Really? <clears throat> Splat a better turner? We'll see. We'll see what happens here. We're also having a lot of cornering issues with Splat previously. Makes sense that it wouldn't be as good of a turner. Maybe we, um... <clears throat> Maybe we try a bit of an upgrade. It's really not a lot of room here. Ooh, what have I done? Uh, hello? Okay, I'm taking on a renegade pack, apparently. Alright, well. What does this mean? Cosine losses are a thing. Chat at 7.30. I don't know what cosine means. Oh. <laughs> oh.
Hey, Lydia. Lydia, why don't you get in there, too? Okay, they do have a friend. They have one very large friend. Gotcha. Past tense? Oh my god! Had! Had a very large friend. Oh, there's still somebody left. Never mind. Alright, now I know that wasn't really a test, but still. That feels good. That feels good. That feels validating, you know? Advanced control recommendation for your real gun? What up? Oh, I never bought more bullets. Any bullets around here? Those are laser ships. Need a 680 bullet. There we go. Feels like Splat might want that engine upgrade. That's fair. Are you can assign numbers to individual or group guns. So you could fan your fire to target multiple cockpits at the same time. What's the... I don't think there's any reason for me to target my railguns as opposed to the whole ship because the ship is only railguns. This does not pertain to you, but I'm excited. Live letter tomorrow for 14. Amazing, Triss. I'm happy that you're happy, Triss. I'm happy that you're happy. All right. Uh, let's redesign Splat here really quickly. Splat's got to get a little bit of, uh, get up and go. You know what I'm saying? All right, so here's what we're going to do. A huge thruster. Little too much. Little too much. What's up, Totally Not a Beholder? My morning streams are going so much better, honestly. All right, how are we doing here? I just realized I need to uh, transfer resources around. All right, uh, we want to have 12 here. And we want to have full 20 there. 
Yeah, uh, operation readjust my sleep schedule, I'm going to call a resounding success. Your natural early riser. You get so much done before anyone else gets up. So when I worked as a project manager in tech, I loved getting to the office before my team. But I worked in tech, so my team would show up at like 10.30, you know? All right, now our max speed is... Oh, zoom! All right, our max speed on Splat now is 80. Is Lydia named after Skyrim? Sure is. She is sworn to carry our burdens. All right. This has been uh this has been pretty good so far. Yeah, I I'm going to be honest chat. I'm I'm kind of tempted. I don't know if I want to do this forever. I've been really enjoying um streaming for 6 hours and having to be noon, you know? Like just to follow your your thought earlier, it's like man, it feels good to have my whole day done, right? Yeah, like, what does my life look like if I just start streaming at 6 a.m. forever? <laughs> I resemble that remark about tech. Oh, hey, I left people behind. That's exciting. Chat. Chat, I can't believe you left people behind, chat. Because, of course, as the um, world's greatest captain, I would never leave people behind. Can't believe they went out for a smoke at all times to leave the ship right now. Trying to find that life balance between up early, done early versus sleep late, work late. So one of the issues I've found with sleep late, work late is work life separation gets a lot worse. <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But sleep late, work late makes it feel like I'm always working. Whereas up early, done early makes it feel like I have I have more me time in the day. Do other people other people feel that? Alright, Lydia, branch off. Splat, go harass. Oh yeah, now we got some movement here though, right? Except, of course, I might not actually be able to intercept this pirate. Oh, they're slowing down. I, they're slowing down. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> Sleep late, work late also typically means you have left social life, unless they happen to be on the same calendar as you. Yeah, fair to that one for sure. What's up, Triple? Good morning. Up early, done early means I have the afternoon and evening myself. Sleep late, work late means the day is mostly over the time I get off work and I just sit in my house. Yeah. I have hours before my friends are even coherent. Yeah. That's a mood too. All right, hold on. <gasps> no, that pirate. Are they, don't they dare Kansas City shuffle me? All right. All right, everybody ready? Let's see this new engage here. So... Lydia, Lydia goes and gets the gold. That's not even worth mining. It's like three gold nuggies. Bad start. Bad start, splat. Splat. Right. I was like, why is this taking so long? Ah, this one is a problem. So I've learned from my previous mistake. And I'm going for the shields first.
Nice. Okay, their shields are already down. Splat. Splat. Splat, get on in there. Come on, buddy. Never mind. Woo! Can your ships get hit by friendly fire? Apparently, that is actually a setting you can disable. Alright, now unfortunately, they're the type of ship that puts... They're the type of ship that puts their reactor right in front of their cockpit, so I couldn't successfully take it apart. So, I don't know if Splat did anything. I need, I need some evaluations. I need you to score that fight. Seven out of ten? Yeah, it wasn't great. The Metal Hopper. I mean, I mean, why can't every fight just be like that, you know? Black could probably use a tactical target like the engines instead of trying to drill through their rear armor. Depends. Depends on the target. In that last one, I was pretty happy to, uh, to be aiming for what I was aiming for. Because the cockpit is, like, not super encased at the back there. Oh, that one had an ion cannon. I might be able to get some diamonds out of this. I did. I did get diamonds out of that. Nice. Got a couple. Let's go. Not sure what this is. Let's go find out. Splat hasn't really had a chance to shine yet. Neither of these were Splat fights. Both of these shots, both of those fights were just decided by Shredder. Oh, interesting. Another ship graveyard. Uh, do I want to farm this for tri-steel? Yes. Hello? Oh! Oh! Help! I've been kidnapped! That's so rude! Yo! This ship came by? Grabbed Splat and just started taking off. That's so funny. This is a good target. It's 
So what you're looking for are the uh, large engines. Large engines can have uh, tri steel in here. I do think this one is mostly just smaller engines, so this might just be hyper coils, but still. Let's find out. Hyper coil. No, we got some tri steel from that. That's good stuff. I used to think these ship graveyards are kind of useless, but like... Tri-steel's tri-steel. It's good stuff. Alright, one more encounter here. One more encounter. I'm feeling stronger. Then we have our Revengeance, right? Revengeance will be ours. Some people in Discord were talking about their ships getting stolen and like AI pileups at stations and pushing them into the sun and all kinds of random stuff like that. It's very funny. Okay. Certainly putting the pack in a renegade pack there. I wonder if I can shoot through stuff. Nah, we don't save scum. One, tier one, tier one, tier one. <sighs> Did it go through? No, it didn't. That's too bad. Tier one, tier one, tier one. All right. out for larger enemies. Okay. I can't really keep up.
What an interesting and chaotic fight this is. Shredder seems to be having some issues. Suffix. <laughs> All right, like, I think our rotation is actually totally fine here. Now that I'm looking at it a little better, you know? Doing there, buddy. Just taking it apart. Oh, my God. You know, it's kind of funny. I don't even know if it's worth looting most of these, you know? Honestly, four mining lasers make so, such short work of this. Let's grab the steel while we're at it, you know? a bunch of tier one ships, you know, right? Is Lydia the largest and most destructive? Largest, yes. Most destructive, no. When that hyper beam lines up just right, you can hear the sun. What's that? What's the quote from the Emperor's New Groove? Sun hits those hills just right. It's like that, but with uh, hyper beams. You could hear the sun. Your eardrums would explode. What if I was wearing headphones? He'll sing or something. Yeah, exactly. All right, we uh, we bougie enough. I'm not too worried. All right, I I think all those upgrades were good. I think all those upgrades are good. Would you agree? Do you feel that we're stronger now? I think the splat upgrade overall was good. I think splat does get confused sometimes, but I think we also have to remember the uh, the delay, the input delay. Oh, right. That was me. Wait, was that me? No. Halt. I don't know if this was me. Look at all this good loot that's here. I wouldn't have left this behind. You also seem to be converging on a visual style for your attack ships. Knife-like? This was me and I just forgot to loot it? Nah. Because I would have left it looking like this. Right? Like a, uh, like how a cartoon character eats a fish. 
You know, you put the whole fish in your mouth and out comes the skeleton. Ooh, a tier 11 Icarus. Fascinating. What about a third railgun? Oh, your parents let you have three railguns? Oh, we got bonus crew there. That's exciting. Oh, she got fame for, like, delivery stuff. Wait, 45 more souls can join? <gasps> 45 more people. That's very exciting. This one gold annoys me. Oh. Now the main reason, the main reason we're heading back to here is there's about 150 to 200 tri steel that fell off of Shredder that I want back. What's up, Livic? Is Shredder Mark III going to be Ion? Shredder Mark III might. If we switch to an Ion ship, oh, what if we go back to the cube? <laughs> oh, Donuts Revenge could be back. That could be kind of exciting. You've heard of cream filled donuts. What about ion filled donuts? Total side note against the storm content update dropped in the last couple hours. Oh no, what's in it, Wuga Chaka? All right. All right. Yeah, we redesigned Splat. What is this? Woo! Actually, this one I think I can one-shot. Yeah, see? This one has a nice, weak core at the very back. They revamped the Scarlet Orchard biome to have new archaeology themes. That's kind of cool. Alright. See, this is the issue. This thing going full blast. Once again, find myself really struggling to pivot in time to do anything. factories and fascinating. So everybody who tells me, all right, real quick, every single person who says you need to be able to reposition Shredder such that it reverse thrusts fast enough, uh, anytime we do that, our other ships can't keep up. So their forward thrust is always going to be able to outmaneuver our reverse thrust. And if we move backwards too quickly, these ships don't get to engage. Uh, so this is why I've been ignoring people who tell me to reverse thrust faster.
Okay, okay. So, good news! Good news! We only lost one. We only lost one. Uh, the system worked. And then... Frustrating though, that still wasn't very clean. So, once again, I also really struggled with aiming while that other ship was, uh, while that ship was coming towards us. We didn't get any pre engagement shots, which is kind of frustrating. And then, so the issue for that again seems to be if I, if I tell it to attack, and you could see if I tell it to attack, it tries to position itself. I can't say attack. And let me... I thought I had a setting enabled for that. Attack and let me rotate without changing the angle of the camera. Or without changing the relative position of the ship. Feels weird the rail didn't fire earlier. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a pilot issue? Game doesn't have uh, ramming stuff? Not yet, no. It's on the roadmap. All right, while we do this, I'm going to get some water, BRB. I'm a little sad that I seem to be having... I haven't been able to fix my issue yet. You know what I mean? Because it feels like it's a UI issue. It feels like... I, it feels like there, there are multiple steps that I have to do, and I wish it was easier. Do you know what I mean? All right, we got bullet. Everybody's got everything they need. All right, let's move on. What's that star? Oh, it's a station. Oh. It's not a no no no. It's not a like ship design execution thing. It's literally just a game control thing. Uh, I am, I am struggling when it comes to telling my ship to attack a target and then being able to rotate it and not have it try and reposition itself. I cannot aim. <laughs> I like my ships how they are. It's not a it's not a ship design thing. It's literally just a like video game execution thing. I just want to be able to click and attack on the target and rotate my ship and not also have it try and do a bunch of other stuff, you know what I mean? That, that is the issue.
Reverse speed issue. Are you mainly worried about Lydia not keeping up? I'm worried about everything not keeping up. Oh, my other ships can't keep up, and I don't want to put more thrusters on to fix it. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, yeah, I, no, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm not backing up. That's not the problem. Again, the problem is not backing up. The problem is I want to shoot before they engage. We'll try and stay... We'll try and stay focused on uh, solving the correct problem. A lot of people are suggesting other problems to try and solve. The, 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 the key thing to do here is to make sure we're trying to solve the correct problem. We should do um, diagonal railguns. Yes, agreed. I think that would be very cool. Asteroid. Neat. You think it's about rotation speed? No, I don't think it's about rotation speed. I think it is about specifically um, a control issue. I struggle with the controls. Oh, Carmen. The diamonds that there meteor. Yeah, I don't know. Like, y'all are obviously seeing a problem. Um, and maybe I'm just doing a bad job of communicating what, what feels like it's going wrong for me. Why are my factories not working here? Oh, it's working. Okay, good. I took the carbon and get, uh, turned into diamonds. Morning, C. Dudson. Ooh, wait. There's some TR here, too. Ah, oh, that, that one's worth stopping at. What is that view? What are those arrows? That is the factory production line mode. Are you ready for our revenge? Yes, Black got an upgrade. Is it an upgrade? I'd like to think it's an upgrade. <clears throat> At the very least, Splat looks cooler. Wait, why are people out of Splat? Oh, other people were mining? Well, that was a bad idea. Why do we do that? We don't even have storage on these ships. I like that Splat was like, yo, we mining? I'll be right there. I love mining. You must say symmetrical Splat? That's fair. Ships in formation assist with Eva. It's because I had all three ships selected and then I said click and uh, do thing. Uh, oh, it's a lot. Whatever. So I don't even think it's necessarily about ships and Eva do that so much as it is the other thing. Also, Neo, please, gently, my friend, you gotta stop atting me. Don't at me, bro. Chat moves slow enough. I read every message. What happened to Donut and Lydia? They got upgraded. Lydia's thicker. And Donut became Shredder. Shredder get in formation. Alright. This is where we got bullied before. So this should be a ship that we destroyed. And then this should be the trail of all of our uh, Tritanium. Or in Waterloo. Do you think they were wandering pirates? Do you think they left? That'd be so rude.
We're back at the scene of the crime. Wait, yeah, right. There were so many ships that died here. Oh. Remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> All right. No. Definitely feels like we don't have enough people on Lydia working as miners. out of here. It'd be an interesting enemy behavior if you could, like, leave valuable cargo behind. They wouldn't attack you. The enemies will follow you even if they have no bullet. <laughs> like... Yeah, the enemy AI currently, there's not a lot of subtlety to what's going on in this game. Everyone wants to just do the best murder they can. Like, you're not even wrong. A shredder ammo, totally fine. Our maximum capacity is actually 680 bullet, um, and we have we have more bullet than we need. All right, here we go. Here we go. Take a look at tri steel. We're at 146 currently. Okay, eight from this. This isn't this isn't the remnants of us. <laughs> this is still enemy ships. Are all unknown contacts bad? Not necessarily. No. Gray is good and friendly. Uh, red is hostile. Question mark could be anything. So it could be a hostile or it could be a, uh, a friendly. Has gun gotten longer? A little bit, yeah. I wonder if I spawned in on a more challenging side of this galaxy. Because uh, I think these are a tier higher than some of the other ships we were fighting. I think this is the tier 10 quadrant, which is where we spawned in. This is like the tier 9 quadrant. Oh my god, look! Look! Alright, that's us. This is where we exploded previously. Is there any tri- Oh, look at all that tri-steel! Alright, this... This was us. Like, that's actually- That's actually our nose, right? That got blasted off. Alright, 159 tri-steel. Oh my god! <laughs> 240 try steel. This is why we came back. Uno, we didn't die. We made it out alive. We made it out alive, but barely. Rem uh, so this was in yesterday's stream when we first arrived at this system. We we had to warp away and barely escaped with our life. Yo, we bougie now. Do I even have room for all the stuff we're putting in the ship? Yo, Lydia, how, how are we doing for cargo space? Oh, we good. Do you want more shredders or a longer shredder? Because I can't help but notice that um, enemies are living through our first shot. What if they didn't? All right, for those of you who play a lot of this game, what percentage bonus do we need on a railgun to go through a heavy shield? 
What number do you need for that? No, we want to embrace Widowmaker here. One shot, one kill. Why not aim for 30? Well, I'd like to know the math behind it, you know? Sure, we could just make a big one. Aim bigger, one shot, two kills? I like the way you think. Oh, right! Yeah, so this is the other scene of the crime. So Lydia was over here mining her own business. See what I did there? <laughs> ah, everyone in this channel appreciates puns. Mining her own business. So we took the first shot, got our kill over here. Then Lydia got Billy. We took that kill. And then we got jumped by two more ships and almost died. Wow, we're not even taking steel. Look how much value we get out of this. Yeah, yeah, because we sniped it from behind. All right. Lydia's come so far from tiny saddlebags and a mining factory to an actual kills under her belt. Well, Lydia didn't get this kill. To be fair, Shredder did. Unless my math is wrong, you cannot one-shot heavy shields? Really? That's disappointing. Lydia has the most kills, though? Well, that depends. Does Shredder still get the kills from being Donut? I don't have a heavy shield. Cannot check the info on it. I mean, I guess I could look it on the build, the big thing. A shield pen resist? I don't know. What number what number do you want from this? Thirty accelerators is three hundred and four percent. Base damage is ten thousand, so forty thousand damage. Okay. I think this was Lydia exploding. As well as losing some cargo. So like, I don't see an actual hit point number on this. Oh, shield strength is 45,000. Max acceleration is 40,000. So that doesn't work. Alrighty. But if we make two that are 30, okay, now I see what you're saying. If it were me, I would just simply use two. Fair, old. Let's try and max out our fame here. Have to be an alpha strike. So the problem with 30 is uh, this is 11 or 12 now. So 30 would mean we're going to have a long, long ship, very long ship. Yeah, maybe, maybe two thirties doesn't make sense. So if we do the math, right? Oh, geez. If we do the math. 
And the math says... I mean, I should save after covering, getting my stuff back. The math says two thirties would do it. What about, I don't want to do four fifteens. I really didn't want to just make more rail guns. 30 about as long as you can make a ship with not much left for, for armor. Yeah. Who needs armor though when you have rail gun? All right, what's happening here? <clears throat> Woo wee! All right. <clears throat> this is terrifying. One one seven seven. All right, Lydia, you go bully the you go bully the small fries. I'm sorry. Hello. Are you going to body block for the enemy there? Wait, how did how did that one already take damage? That's a half durability reactor already. Rotated, rotate back. Okay, we've got access to their. They're rotating the fools. All right, nice, nice. Let's see how this is going. How's Splat doing? Splat is in their rear systems. Whatever, just take their stuff out there. Actually, no, let's go this side. How's Lydia doing here? Lydia? Nah, Lydia, turn and fight. Turn and fight. Goodbye. <laughs> I like that I rotate. I'm like, oh, uh, that's a time to turn, you know? So, I think, I think we're doing great. <clears throat> no, Lydia, don't show them your weak side. So the question, how are we feeling about Splat? Splat doing anything? Are we proud of Splat? Did Splat lose their nose? Nope, Splat's fine. Once again, there we go, there we go, what am I laughing oh, thank you. I 
Is it not already dead? Oh, it's not already dead. That was incredibly clean. Huh. Don't know if I'm loving Splat's role so far. Because we were hoping that Splat would, like, get in behind and mess with crucial systems and stuff like that. Do you feel like that's been the case? Yeah, not really, eh? Any other ships around here that I want to disassemble? All right, maybe, maybe we'll do the M word. I don't know, chat. I don't know, chat. Have you been good? Please, have some respect when we fly into town here. I also like that Lydia speaks on behalf of the fleet. Ooh, we can get a couple more missions in here, actually. We can get upwards of... Uh... Oh, there's level 11 quests here, too? Oh, never mind. We're going to stay in this region for a bit. Yeah, we might turn, uh, actually, one sec, before I do that, can I make a return trip? I can. Let's go turn in that, uh, tier 9 bounty. At 37 accelerators, nearly maxing out the build grid, you can crack a large shield. I thought it maxed at 30, though. Can you go beyond 30, Kerbalized? So yeah, some quests have to be turned in at the appropriate station, but you can just warp. Oh, the tip, the tooltip ends at 30. You can keep going beyond that. Oh. Neat. That's a big ship. Yeah, maybe we turn Splat into a missile battery chat. What's the effective range on missiles? Hey, what's up, Nibbles? Good morning. You don't really have the build space to go past like 34 though. Interesting. How did I get my fractal sponsorship? Cold email. They just reached out. Can you please attack the friendly station for testing the railgun? No. <laughs> I don't even want to save scum that. That's just not who I am as a player. These are friends, not food. Surge is kind of a big deal. Hardly. Missiles have a range of 450 meters. Okay. Okay. All right, give me a second. I'm going to take a very short bio break, and then I think it might be time to, uh, to do Splat V3. All right, I'll be back.
<laughs> What's up, Nibbles? Ten dollars! My timing is perfect. Thank you so much, friend. All right. All right. You know what I don't actually have? I don't actually think I have the recipes for um for missiles. Missile and mine launcher. So I should probably make a missile factory as well, eh? So rich, by the way? Hold on. You know what? I'm... There. I never have to look at this tab again. All right, Splat. It's been a good time, but it's time for something new. How many missiles does one want? How many missiles does one want? I'm actually going to make this as an asymmetrical ship. Oh, interesting. All right, I've learned something already. Hope you like asymmetry chat. I've got a really cool idea for this. for a cockpit yet but you know you know what you know what you're seeing here So much crew, really? They want 49 crew for this? Why? <clears throat> Why do they need so many people for this?
48 out of 49. I love this, by the way. I think this ship looks so cool. in a door. Oh, it needs a jump drive. Crap, you're right. Uh, where do we put that? Heck, where do we put that? Oh, it was perfect before. Airlock's easy. Airlock goes like here. Fire extinguisher goes here. How do I always forget the warp drive? <sighs> is it going to spin in circles? No, my guess is it's going to kind of just get into position and then win. <laughs> I don't know. I actually have no idea. I kind of just wanted to make something that was like very cool and very silly. All it needs to do is point miss like missiles are kind of omnidirectional too, so I don't think it matters. I wanted to be a little bit avant-garde with it, you know? Yeah, the fact that you don't need to include like kitchens or washrooms is kind of interesting. I think I'm okay with that. Maybe the implication is that, like, every bedroom also has food. Actually, have we tried zooming in? What is in there? Is that, like, a TV monitor on the wall? I don't know. You know what? Let's just keep, let's just keep embracing the, um, the asymmetry, you know? I love its hyperdrive score is actually good. <laughs> How do I reverse this, by the way? One of the issues I have is um, because the tools are symmetrical, sometimes the armor pieces don't fit. Oh, there's a flip button! Does it not work with this piece? There it is. Yeah! <laughs> huh? I love our strange lumpy son. I think we need a better name for it though. I don't think this is, uh, I don't think this is splat anymore. I think it's name is Eugene. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> kind of looks like a Eugene to me. How about y'all chat?
Right side engineers don't have doors. What? Right side engines don't have doors? Right side engines don't need doors. If you have an engine room, uh, it automatically powers all of those if they're connected. Uh, all the doors would do is allow fire to spread. So you actively do not want doors inside of those if you're using engine rooms. All right, Lydia. Lydia, Lydia, Lydia. Lydia, Lydia. Manufacture tactical nuclear missiles that cause massive damage in a large area. Consumes iron and uranium. I need raw uranium, eh? Was the cutest nerd of ever noise I've ever heard. Perfectly ordinary human noise. I don't know what you're talking about. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Outside of grid. Well, that's a problem. One, two, three, four, one, two. I see the problem. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Put more bedrooms in there. Have you never heard my squeaks before? It's all good. It's all good. Airlock, fire extinguishers. I decided to clean my keyboard. It's full of shame and regret. As somebody who eats at their desk, I uh, <laughs> I expect there to be a similar issue. Let's actually do this. Give nice clean walk lines. All right, so the reason we added four more storage is so that we could come up here and then make ourselves two more factories. Um, and I think I want to make uh, EMP factories and nuclear factories. Just like that. I don't know what we're going to put there for now, but that's fine. Let's do that, and then let's go ahead and put the doors in there side by side. So nukes require raw uranium, and they also require iron. I need to start mining raw iron? I hate that. 
Uh, and EMP missiles cost us iron and copper. No, really? What if I, hold on. What if I just simply buy missiles? I'm just gonna buy and store missiles. That sounds dumb. I hate this. I'm not building these. EMP, sigh. Do EMP missiles make you sad? More coffee? My love. Actually, you know what I could do? Oh, I've already got three of these. I should probably put doors on uh, my new storage, eh? It's a meme that EMP is only dangerous to people who are in explosions. It's a good joke. American coffee as weak as people say. I... I'm not American, for starters. Also, my coffee is excellent, I'll have you know. Alright, so what have I done? What have I changed? And why does it cost me... Why on earth do these modifications cost me titanium and uranium when I made the factory and destroyed them? What what have I added here that is so expensive, chat? What is American coffee? I mean, there's the old World War II joke of Americanos because Americans couldn't stomach pure espresso, so they needed to have it watered down. Like, that apparently is the origin of it, you know? I just realized I can also put... I, I feel like my, um... I feel like my expenses are for something that doesn't make sense. Whatever, it's not like I can't afford it. Realizing I could be putting a fire extinguisher in here. Just in case. Look like it's the new thrusters, but none of the thrusters are new. Oh, that's not true. Uh, wait, no, it is true. Like, literally, the only new thing we're building is beds, these. Whatever, I'm just going to click it. We'll see where we end up. We're pretty... Oh, you know what it might have been? When I moved it, it may have refunded it. It may have refunded it, and then when I place it, it builds it, you know? That's fine. The launcher is a versatile weapon that can fire munitions of various types, such as missiles and mines. To change the type of munition, select the launcher and then click the munition type. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so... First things first. My bedrooms don't have doors? Apparently. Apparently. Eugene adds so much to this fleet. Thank you. All right. Uh, also, I, I want... Let's move DB Engineering back to there. Let's make this unsymmetrical. Y'all can be red shirts. Let's have one more DB Engineering, just in case. Uh, up front, we've got miners. You can be a miner as well. Just want to make sure the rooms that I have picked are actually fully staffed. I 
It might not have been. So let's just overstaff the engineering. Now, uh, folks were saying a mixture of nuclear missiles as well as uh, EMPs would be kind of cool. So let's do EMP. EMP. Nuke. Nuke. So if that's the case... Hundred and thirty-eight, hundred and forty-four. Hundred and thirty-eight, hundred and forty-four. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Let's see how kind of movement we have. Oh yeah. Eugene Sozumi! Let's do some tests here. Actually, wait one second. Hello? How do you do when it comes to missile parts? Oh, yes. move a little closer here. Oh, Eugene. How you doing there, buddy? Maybe buy the materials? I... The idea of making... Um, the idea of having to mine asteroids for useless materials like iron and copper in order to make them? Not a chance. Sure there's no way it needs that much crew? Yo, Oshi! No, look at this! Recommended crew, 49! Apparently, missiles need a ton of people. I just listen to what the game says. Game knows better than I do. Anyways, uh, let's go test out how this works. I mean, I guess I could literally go to this asteroid field. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's take a couple of fights here. And if Eugene runs out of missiles... Before we can find ore, we can talk, all right? Hey, Eugene. All right, actually, let's see what type of, what type of, sp wait. Uh, what's, what's Eugene's max speed here? Oh, that's why. Hold on. Wait, actually, actually, Eugene, are you a, uh, are you a this way flyer? 30. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, no, there we go. Wait, really? What? Mm. So these two are doing nothing. These two are doing nothing because it doesn't know how interesting. It doesn't... The ships don't need to be symmetrical, but if it's asymmetrical, it doesn't know how to move. Also, oh yeah, oh yeah, Eugene, Eugene. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What if Eugene is actually supposed to thrust in this direction? There we go, we got there, we got there. All right, if that's the case, give me a quick second here. If that's the case. If 
There. <laughs> ah, ah, Eugene. All right, let's do some speed tests now. All right. Woo, now we zoom in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Eugene's a mover. Oh, I love Eugene. Door for that one engine room, thank you. All right, where were we? Yes, it's time to engage. It's a lot of enemies. It's a lot of enemies. Ooh. The big C. All right. It is now time to duel. Let's uh let's just say shoot that shield, Eugene. What does that what does that mean? When I tell you to shoot a shield, what does that mean? Eugene Eugene? Eugene? Eugene, oh, Eugene, you fool! Eugene, flee! Wait, did we? Hello? Eugene! Eugene lost, uh, oh geez, Eugene's losing a lot here. Was that, was that one shot from Eugene there? Run, Eugene! Run! Run, you fool! Alright, what is what is the actual effective range of missiles? Okay. Let's do that and then save attack default. Please shoot. Hello? See, once again, I find myself... Unable to hit anything. That bothers me. Shoot! Shoot, you fools! Shoot! I'm very frustrated by that. Shoot her! Yeah, that's right. Uh, wait, who's this? Lydia! First things first, Lydia. Rotate. You're showing them your weak side. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
That was not a good look, Lydia. It's okay, we took him out. But still. It's okay, they're dead. All right. So, let's be honest. Could have gone better. Need to get a little bit closer to Lydia here. Whoa, Jesse! Thank you so much for 20 dollar dues. I'm considering two very aggressive competing promotions at work. I feel wanted but stressed. Thank you for being such a calming presence in my day. Thank you very much, friend. I mean, awesome that you, uh... You're in a position where you get to contemplate two of those. Oh, yes, EMP missiles. That's really cool, friend. Feel like puking, but in a good way. I'm glad it's in the good way. So there's another pirate here still. That's fine. All right, we are managing to fill up on EMP parts because look at all that, eh? All right, you know what? There. Oh, that's CU. If we find uranium, maybe we make the nuke factory, but that's it. That's it. The Victory Pukes is my new all-girl punk band. Honestly, that sounds like a sweet name for like a ride girl band. Victory Pukes? <laughs> Processor out here. I'll grab that too. Hello. All right. There's another big C over there. How are we doing here? 138. Okay, we're actually maxed out for EMP. Yeah, we're maxed out for EMPs, chat. So we're hunting three tier 10 ships. That's wild to me. All right, this is a railgun ship, a little spooky. And we've discovered that we cannot fight through that, right? So if we tell Eugene, hey Eugene, you hit those shields. First missiles have been fired. Eugene's holding distance. Those are the EMPs. Let's see what this timing looks like. I feel like we missed. Okay. <laughs> you know what? That, that wombo combo there, that felt good. 
That felt good. I mean, wow. Hello? Can we just talk about how unbelievably clean that just was? Might get engaged upon here. I don't know if that's a patrol or not. Tier 11 cantaloupe. Like the melon? You know what? Sure. Alright. Uh, this is what we want to hit. <gasps> oh, they rotated on me. All right, the EMPs are off. All right, EMPs are arriving. Didn't really hit anything there, unfortunately. Uh, didn't matter? Oh my god. So what, are this, what does this ship have? This ship has disruptors. Beautiful. Some more EMPs are on their way. I'm thrilled. Anything here that I care about? Hypercoil and a processor. You know what? Sure. Honk. <laughs> Anything for Lydia in there? Or not Lydia, pardon me. Anything for Eugene? No. So we have an entire still in one piece railgun that should get us some pretty mad uh, tritanium or tri yeah 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 tritanium is the correct word I don't hear Eugene anything for Eugene no <laughs> poor Eugene it's okay little buddy we'll get you we'll get you presents later
All right. Anything else in here? No, that was great. That was excellent. I, I again. <laughs> Forward. Couple more diamonds there. If you ever want to do like a giant ion gun, diamonds are going to be a big part of it, right? Uh, do I spec mine this uranium? No, it's like five. It's not worth. Okay, Eugene, what would you say you do, you do here? Eugene's got a very important job. Eugene is actually putting in some work. All right, what do we got? Tier 10 Omen. So Eugene... Eugene takes down the shields. Yo, Ibora, thank you for the 30 months, my friend. All right, so those missiles... Oh, Oh no, Eugene! Oh, Eugene! Eugene, flee! All right, Eugene is having a bad day. <laughs> Yikes. I need, um, I need Eugene to stop going forward is what it feels like it's happening here, you know? I thought Eugene had some good positioning, but I guess not. Does Eugene need point defense guns? No, Eugene just needs to be positioned elsewhere. I feel like Eugene keeps going too far forward where they have no business going that far forward, you know? You wanna give Eugene more guns? Exhausting. Where do we even put them? Like here? There's one point defense gun for Eugene. Are we out of nukes already? We're already out of nukes. Wow, nukes did not go very long, did they? What about thicker armor? Nah. Is that what Eugene's about, chat? It would take forever for Eugene to get in position. Uh, Eugene just needs to hang back. Yeah, we got guns at home. Ooh, what are you? Beautiful in name only. I actually love this ship. You got nukes? Yeah, you do. Hey, stop on stop on here real quick. Hi. How you doing? Might I interest you in a little uh, mid-space commerce here? All right, what does it actually take to make nukes? 
because um, not loving that. Nukes are iron and uranium. Ugh. I am only doing this because there's literally iron and uranium right there. Otherwise, not a chance. I wonder what kind of return we get from this. All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So, very important question here. This is getting us how much uranium? 17. Okay. Is it a one to one ratio? Actually one to one. Okay. Okay, this is good. Wait. Yeah, it looks one to one. We're actually getting a lot. Okay. You know what? Maybe I don't hate this, because look at that. You know? We've used only a little bit of it. Well, it looks like it uses more iron than uranium. Kind of glad about that. Let's grab it all. All right, chat, I stand corrected. One more. Now that uranium is back on the menu, let's see how we do with nukes. But you're sitting, mm, very clever. I see you've played Standy City before. I saw TR2. I got rid of it. It was over here, and I actually deleted that. It's like, look, I'm I'm kind of TR rich right now. Wait, are you dead? It's dead. Wait a second. Wait a second. You know what that means? Oh, wait, it's not dead. It may as well be. Well, nothing could, nothing to do here. It's like four titanium. Eh. Um, hello? No, we don't plunder. We're the good guys. TM.
All right, what do we have here? A lot of nothing. All right, so. You hang back. Hold, hold. Good opening salvo. Good, good. That's our missile range, right? Let's make sure we save that. Attack default. Straightening up. Are those ions? Oh, they are. Okay, that is literally. Okay, we got one of them. Good. We're at the right positioning. We're at the back here. And we've got two more tier. Oh, you know what? Lydia. Hey, Lydia. Uh, go go play. What's up, farmer? I'm holding up with the early mornings. I'm feeling so much better now. Like, significantly better. Lydia, actually, you just chill. Let's just, let's just take these out. Was I able to fall asleep last night? Oh, God, no. Falling asleep in this economy? I get it. I get it. It's starting to click. Chat, it's all starting to click. Look at that. Diamond time. We're at 29 currently. It's clicking. I get it. I get it now. That is bullets. Let's grab a couple bullets here, shall we? My strafing ability, all the aiming, I'm getting it. I'm doing it, chat. I'm gaming. Should have uh, maybe looted some more of those EMPs though. And those go by fast. All right, let's check out what this is. I think if I hit a couple more question marks, I get another big quest here. 
Three more. Three more random objectives. That's another big quest. It also took way longer than you thought it would. What do you mean? Oh, cleaning your keyboard. Sorry, I thought you meant specific to the fight I just did. I was like, go on. <laughs> right, I only read the second message, I see. When gaming before 11 a.m.? Don't tell anyone tears red right hand. Pardon me. I think I could probably get away with selling some, uh, selling some coil and or hyper coil. I don't, I don't need 3000 hyper coil, do I? Like, real talk. If I make a mega sh station, am I going to run out of resources or are we fine? 500 tri steel? I think I found a pirate station. I definitely found a pirate station. All right, let's save. This is fine, though. This is actually like a ton of rep if we could pull this off. Have a good one, Abyss. Thanks for hanging out. I just want one ship here. All right, we got the Loomer. Ah, crap. We got the Loomer and the Omen. A little scarier. They currently have their back to me. I might be able to snipe them while they're not paying attention. Oh my god, I did. Nice shooting. Now, this is a two cockpit ship. Airdrops has a new core keeper update out. Heck yeah. All right. So this is a little spooky. Still dead in the water. I just want to get it before it rotates. So my flak cannons should be able to deal with this. Did I get that ship? No. All right. Eugene. Eugene, I need you to nuke this one. Do that for me, buddy. I think, I think that's dead. Whatever. Okay, here come the EMP missiles. Don't know where they're going to hit, but that's okay. Okay, the mega shields are down. Let's go for the command center here. So that's our first nuke. 
Let's watch this in slow-mo here. No! Oh, that's why we don't have friendly fire on, by the way, chat. That's a problem. All right, Eugene. Eugene. Hi. Lydia, I might need some help here, bud. Lydia, kill! <laughs> Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. One last target here. up Azure Heights. Thank you so much for 40 months, my friend. Eugene, how you doing there, bud? You gonna you gonna do anything, my dude? You gonna you gonna help out? Seven hundred steel to repair everything there. You know what? That's fine. Lydia? Lydia continues to save the day here. Eugene's are Eugene is out of NPs. Eugene is out of EMPs and nukes are one turn only. What does one turn only mean? Do you literally just get one engage and then nothing else? Oh, we might need uh, we might need some saddlebags here. Lydia! Lydia's getting a little thick, which is good. This is good. Small suggestion for an upgrade? Sure. What are you thinking? Oh, nukes only fire in a straight line. Fascinating. Okay. So you're saying that um, our orientation's not great. Shredder could use more missiles? Nah. Nah, but thank you. That's not what they about. Uh, we could use some more bullet, though.
Point defense costs power, though. We have uh, we have power issues and stuff like that. Also, where? Flat cannon not happening. Nah, no, no, no. Shredder's fine. Shredder's fine. All right. I need to make Lydia thicker here. So here's my plan. Time to give her some saddlebags. Oh, you know what I could do? Sorry, I'm realizing Lydia's a little... I want to—I don't want to say slow. Uh, Lydia could be faster. So what if... Oh, this is actually a bigger upgrade than I thought. What if... Go with me on this journey. You know what? Hold on. Could I? Uh, I can. I can and I will. That's unfortunate. Does this one get a 100% boost or no? I think it's a 50% boost, so that's actually kind of a waste. But it is symmetrical. And God, that's important. <laughs> right? How are we doing for control here? Still fine. Oh, I think we lost some people. Backup command? Nah. Just spending money at that point. All right, Lydia's got to be able to hustle at this point, you know? That's a lot of forward thrust. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe too much? Too much forward thrust? No. Actually, you know what? We are going to change it slightly. I think what I do at this point is I do this. Instead. Oops, it's supposed to be symmetrical. Give her a little bit of turning power. There we go. Aha! Oh, hello, my love. So now that we've got all this 
all this. What if we also did... Just another layer of armor. Right? Like, I believe... I believe we can tank it. Thoughts? Oh! Oh! I can't afford it! Well, that isn't that interesting. You know, it's kind of funny. If I do this... Then I can. I was gonna buy this game, but I realized I didn't know how to tell the game that was your persistent shilling that, that convinced me to buy it. Please advise. Oh. Oh. Well, the only storefronts that pay creators are good old games, Epic and Humble. And uh, I don't have a good old games code. So if you can buy games on Humble or Epic, I get, uh, I get a code. Uh, Steam does not pay creators. So I do not, I do not shill for steam. So it looks like the only thing that's left is the station. Well, bad day to be a station, am I right? Ooh, uh, what do you got? You have nothing! Oh, you're just so dead. This is a tier 9 station? Or like a tier... dead... <laughs> station, am I right? I didn't put doors in there. Thank you. Nice catch. Well, there you have it. Another station taken out by yours truly. Are any of these missile stations? No, they're all bullets. No missiles for you. Do we go full saddlebags and take this whole station apart or nah? I mean, it's not worth it to grab the steel. It's a lot of bullets. I think once I have about 2k steel on me, that's enough. I think I actually stopped grabbing coils at this point, too. No, that can't be right. Maybe it is? Who knows? Is my goal to make my own Deep Stace 9? Ah, uh, not necessarily. I think, I think after we've done this, 
We've had a good time with rail guns. Do you think it's time to try and make a giant ion ship? I feel as though we've we're getting pretty close to maxing out fame in this system, you know? Go full saddlebag and take everything, but but then what? Like we're so rich. It's not even like stations can sell us the materials we're missing. Is that ship four? No, no, no. We'd take Shredder. We would take Shredder and make them into something new. All right. How? Wow. I do feel like I need even one more crew here. Just to keep the mining lasers powered. Another six people who don't leave and all they do is help mine. Wait, no, this is all nuclear ammo. Oh, this is all HE ammo, not nuke ammo. HE stands for high impact, I guess. What's up, mate? Ion beams are lovely. So they've got mines. Oh, that's a lot of tri steel. Got sulfur here if you wanted to make bullet factories. Oh, high explosive, not high impact, pardon me. Yes. I know how letters work. Knowing how letters work is really impressive for this early. Thank you. Eugene is new? Yeah. Like, look at this. Look at what we're leaving behind. Isn't that amazing? Friends, Heron has just gifted 26 subs to the channel. There are 26 letters. That was your justification? Yo, friend, holy moly. He can in to say thank you for the sub. If you just got gifted a sub, throw some hearts in chat. I see a lot of people already doing that. Really appreciate it. Ooh, that, those are good diamonds. One second. Turn around. Yeah, I need hearts. I need whatever your favorite sub or emote rather is for energy and thank yous. Just throw them all in there. My goodness. Dodged. <laughs> Grats. You did it. You, basically Neo in chat right there. I can use whatever flimsy justification I want. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. There's been a lot of support, a lot of generosity lately. Thank you so much, friends. As always, humbled and flattered. Some good emotes in there. Oh, is that a Kiri emote? Yeah! Right on, Saggy. All right, I think it's time to unload some copper coils, you know? Uh, I think I think we're probably good. Elrad, thank you for 44 months, my friend. Wait, why is Shredder so slow? <gasps> 
Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I should have checked the max speed. How zoomy is Lydia now? Sorry, let's take, let's take, nope, nope. Hello? All right, how fast is Lydia solo? 80, can we hit 80? 67, that's not bad. Considering her mass, <laughs> I think Lydia's doing great. <gasps> Does Lydia need another upgrade, chat? Do you think Lydia deserves another upgrade? No, 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 no. We want to we want to take all of our extra crew and stuff and put it into the new ship. We don't want to make Lydia any larger. Lydia's sworn to carry our burdens, and that's it. I was only a tier nine destroyed pirate base. Okay, tier ten quests aren't even giving us anything currently. So we could, in the theory. Stay here up to 2010. Uh, oh, we could hire 48 more people, though? One sec. So 48 plus... Oh, we are a short crew here. Hold on. Oh, interesting. I could actually hire more than this. They're out of people. But this does mean, in theory, 110. Uh, I think Lydia's overcrewed, right? Not really. Where's our owl? What owl? You want an owl shape? <gasps> owl! Right. Oh, my God. I... Hold on, hold on. So, something we've been working on is a new emote. I can't believe I forgot about this. I've been so tired. All right, this is very ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, but I want to... <laughs> I have this as an owl emote. It's so perfect and it's so derpy. It's just like the most confused owl I've ever seen. And I love it. And uh, yeah, TQ has actually already... Already turned it into a series of emotes here. <laughs> like... Huh? Like, I could just literally upload these right now, and then we have a... Uh, <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know what we call it. That owl is on something. It's from this great Twitter video where uh, somebody has a bunch of baby owls in, a in like, a bucket and is trying to send them home. That's that owl right there. It's just like, oh, no. Right? Yeah, it's such a good video. And I just love... I just love their eyes. Yeah, there's a whole video about them being put away. All right, hold on. Uh, all right, give me a second. I'm too tired to think about this. So I'm going to save the game. I'm going to quit the game. I'm going to pee. Well, we're going to upload the owl emote. Then I'm going to make an ion ship. Got it? Little owl over the place. You're not wrong. I hate you. I'll be right back.
All right. Bear with me for like a couple minutes while I put this all together. <laughs> Joe was like, oh, I confused you, didn't I? Yes, she did. That's fine. All right. Step one, download owl images. Here, I mean, I can, I can share all of this with you. Download owl images. Do we call it owl or burb? All right. Step two. Kaka! That's the noise every bird makes. All right, step two, uh, new emote. Hello? Step two, new emote. Step three. <laughs> Step three, upload. Step four, profits. All right, there you have it, friends. We now have a very good owl emote. Once again, shout out to the wonderful TQ. I wonder if she'd like credit for this emote. Let's give it to her anyways. Uh, emote attribution. Let's find witchy. Witchy TQ. There we go. owl. All right, uh, real quick, how are we doing over here? Show drops. I still haven't found the rare drop here, and I still don't have the hat? <gasps> Unacceptable. How is that possible? I've been stealing for so long. I'm such a good thief. What's locked? No, people are using the owl emote in chat, sweetie. Owl emote is live. Joe's being like, why can't I owl? It's coming. Oh my God, Nibbles! <laughs> With another $10 dono! Again, I have no idea how to transfer time to you. I hope this will suffice instead. Thank you. Hey, um, kind of a, kind of like a real talk moment for just a second. All the support means a lot, a lot, a lot to me. Um, Cause like taking a week off as a streamer, is kind of a big and stressful thing. And the fact that, yeah, the, the fact that there's just been so much generosity and so much support right before Desert Bus means a lot. It, it It's like hard to communicate. Ooh, nice Jorbs parasocial there, Morak. So yeah, thank you, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate it. All right. So, uh, we never really got to see the maximum of what... The railgun could do, but I think I think we gave a railgun a good old college try, right? How many streams do you think I'll miss because of desert bus? At least five, possibly more, which is like a quarter of the month. Depends. Depends how wiped I am afterwards, you know. Yes, owl emotes. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, that's if there's no sick days, right? All right, so here's uh, here's an interesting question. Do we try and keep the shredder design and just have ions down the middle? Or do you think... Um, do you think we need a completely new design? So the way ion crystals work, which is really interesting, something that's very unique here, is you have an ion beam as as a starting point and then what you can do is you can have them both go into a prism and what that does is it kind of like the um kind of like the um the railgun here every component that you combine makes this stronger so similarly if we did something like this
you could see how this would get stronger. And then if you did something like this, see where we're going here? Donut Mark II? Yeah. Ramiel, thank you for 30 months. So two separate beams, combine it, and now it's now 1.75. Wait, hold on. Two separate beams equals two, combine it, it's 1.75. So that's an interesting question. I believe the drop-off is after four. Help me out with some of the math here. I've never worked with this before. So hold Alt over a crystal. Okay. So combine fall off is minus 25% per beam. Oh, so you don't want many beams, eh? Or sorry, you don't want one mega beam. You want several beams. So the most you want is four. I was under the impression, oh, I was under the impression that you wanted to make one omega beam. Never combine different strengths of beam. Beams want to combine at two into one of the same size. Combining multiples at once is bad. Oh, interesting. So this is also a bad idea. So you want... Oh, wait, an Omega Beam is possible? Oh my god. Wow, fascinating. So do you have to make like a giant binary tree? So eight into four into two into one. So the way I have this lined up is bad. So it is possible. <gasps> the donut's back on the menu, chat! Oh my god. All right, it's donut time. Okay, so hold on. So first things first. Save design. Shredder Mark II. Let's just save over this. Because I believe this is the ultimate form of the Shredder Mark II. Right? Nibbles? What in the world? <laughs> Nibble. Nibbles. Nibbles. Hundred and fifty dollar dono. I figure on average I donate like thirty dollars a stream, and if you think you're gonna miss five streams, that's five times thirty for you. Real talk back at you. This stream is a calm port in the world of chaos. Providing a service like that is absolutely something you deserve to be compensated for. You and your job are very important. Holy moly. Thank you, friend. Thank you. I, <laughs> yeah. I just need to take a second and uh, and let that moment wash over us, you know? I don't understand what's happening right now. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh. What am I looking at here? This is different. This is different. Um. <laughs> Rocket John, thank you for the $10 dono. Time off contribution as well. This shows how beam combinations affect output. Yeah. I'm having two very different conversations here. Conversation one is laser output and math, which is fascinating. Conversation two is trying to emotionally <laughs> understand. <laughs> uh, emotionally understand what's happening right now. And there's, there's a conflict and there's a tension between the two.
This is a laser cutting through armor, yes. Yeah, there's some definite whiplash here, Nibbles. There's some definite whiplash right now, and I'm I'm struggling to understand. Also, <laughs> there. Perfect. And to merge these two conflicting emotions, <laughs> we have this owl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh also read this for beams oh my goodness uh jeez so if we made four of these one, two, three, four. That's a combined. Is the is the math here that this is a combined uh, twelve hundred damage? Whereas if you merge them into one, that's a nine hundred thing damage. The math is wrong on the final graph. So the idea here is. Um, you start to get fall off, right? So while you're combining them, there are break points. Look at all this math though, chat. Isn't this great? It's showing how combining into four outputs totals more damage rather than combining into one. Sure, but, but, one mega laser. I realize that you get more damage output if you do this way. But what about one mega laser? This suggests that merging them is not optimal, which seems contradictory to the gift from before. Well, the it's not necessarily So these are not mutually exclusive, right? So this does show that this works better. But what it's saying, what are you optimizing towards? One mega laser does have better penetration power, right? Because of course it would, because it's all concentrated in one place. This has more flat DPS. So there's two different things that you're talking about, right? So this is raw DPS. This is raw punching power in one spot. So I think... Both are correct, and honestly, it's probably better that there is diminishing DPS, so you have to make that trade-off. Honestly, I think that's really interesting. Yeah, so this is illustrating the best ways to combine, which is fine, and I understand that. Uh, and this shows a really good example of, of what you want to optimize towards. Oh, you also get more range when you merge beams. That's interesting. You can't use the four then target the same thing as effectively? Probably not, because I don't believe these wrote... Uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, but I believe that an ion prison... Prism, pardon me, has a fixed... target, that makes sense? The prism rotates, so this will rotate live in combat. The prism aims, but it's really slow. Oh, so it's not like the um, it's not like the railgun. Eh? You don't have to rotate the whole ship. They gimbal is such a good word. You can also set them as a beam turret. Amazing. All right, so I love the idea of the 937. I love the idea for the 937. So let's ask ourselves a question here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. So if I did a, if we give, if we return the donut, uh, but I won't have the internal engines facing. I need 16 to do this, okay. Hydra Lord, thank you for a thousand biddies. Love this game. Would have never known about it without your stream. Thank you, friend. A special way to build it. So that's a special way to build it if you want the... That's kind of cool. 
That's a special way to build it if you want this, though. If you want the three... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that is a... That's actually very elegant. That's very elegant. That's two emitters into one prism. Yeah, that's a good space optimization. What well, should we try this as the Mark One? As the Mach One? Very conflicted about these ion beams. On the one side, my science brain is screaming that this is not how ions work. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> but my nerd brain is like giant freaking lasers. Yeah, I'm with you, Yandolf. I'm with you. <laughs> What are those prisms doing? I'm thinking this is just showing alternate placements. These three aren't there. It's just showing you can do an angular alignment. Please note that powered prisms explode when destroyed. I mean, everything explodes when destroyed. That's fine. All right, give me a second here. Let's start with eight. Let's start with eight. Yeah, so hold on. Uh, real quick about some math too as well. If you space out your prisms, they are safer in that they don't chain explode. But if you, sit, if you spread out your prisms, then you have a larger surface area that you have to defend. Right? So there's also a risk reward in that as well. All right. Okay. Let's let's get this party started. We've decided on Death Star, right? We've decided on Death Star. All right, how much? 28? Each of these is seven people? Fifty-six people to crew. Literally just this. Holy moly. Don't I need two more? That's not enough prisms. Is that not right? Oh, I have four into one. You're right. I'm sorry. Thank you, chat. You're smarter than I am. You see my weird lizard brain moment where I was like, <laughs> I was actually like, uh. Interesting. They're on. Uh... Oh, it does need to be connected. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's too bad. It's a little ugly. I shouldn't be making it pretty before I make it functional. Did you save one crystal per pair by eliminating the one directly in front of it and moving the pairing crystal to be right in front of the other one? Could you save one crystal per pair? Oh, interesting. So you're suggesting that I do that instead, eh? Like that. No. 
Oh, I understand what you're saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're trying to galaxy brain, so one sec. Combine top right with top left somehow. Right? <laughs> and, then, and then somehow try and launch it to like that. Uh... Right, no, 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 Sorry, there was an example of this. The example was there. Sorry, this is, um... This is a lot of lizard. This is a lot for my lizard brain to try and put together right now. So we have that. And then we somehow do this and this. And then we have this. Right? So the issue though, while it's more ion efficient, it's actually less space efficient. And I don't know if I like that. I think I actually prefer the binary option because I've got the diamonds for it, right? Okay, I'm glad we know that that exists. I'm not gonna do it. Four into three into two into one. It's okay, I'm bougie. I don't care about the diamond cost. How do you, um, how do you tell it where to point? You give it an order. So these two here, these two here, these two here, these two there, right? So this is not six into one. These outer ones are gonna point straight in and then down one. I just, I just compressed it a space. Yeah, I, I just made it one smaller. Here's my layout for 32. Yeah, see, my smooth brain can't handle this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, uh, so the next thing we wanna do is we want power. Boy, do we ever want power. I'm imagining, that's so frustrating. I'm imagining that'll be plenty. Might be the space for large reactors. I'm mostly just looking at the power requirements, you know? But I mean, maybe. <laughs> we got power. 
Okay. Uh, next, what's my staffing requirement? 56, 56, eh? There's 48 so far. All right, that's 48 th so far, and we don't have any go. We don't have any go. Surely I could drop that gap. I think the gap is aesthetically beautiful. The gap is pleasing to me. Look at how much power is needed for one generator. You need two battery levels at least. Oh, I understand what you're saying. Level two battery at least. Yeah, okay. All right. So maybe not a donut here, but this is fine. Next. I mean, this is the easy part. Now, uh, I do not want to be bully. I do not want to be bully. We can, um, we can, we can iterate. We can iterate, but let's get some, let's just get some concepts down for now that we can flesh out over time, right? Maybe move that up so it can reorient. I'll just rotate the whole ship. I'll just rotate this ship. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, if we really feel that way, what we could do is this. I think I hate this. Nah, I don't like that. I don't like it. It's fine. We'll just rotate the ship. We'll just simply rotate the ship. Oh, you know what we could do for reverse thrusty? Just suddenly thinking to myself. There. We have for crew requirement 93. Oofa la doofa. All right, so we need some, we need some get up and go here, right? How many accelerators on the old railgun? I think we had 13. I think we had 13 accelerators on the old railgun. All right, my command needs 203. So let's put a control room here. Let's put a sensor here. Right? Uh, and then we need more engine. More engine. Probably need double engine room on this one. So let's do this. 
Engine room, engine room. Lurge thrusters. Lurge thrusters. Rotating thrusters. Those are our stopping thrusters, right? Uh, this is an excellent spot from some crew quarters. Actually, even better than that, forget that. We put him here. Ah? <laughs> <Huh? laughs> what better way to get in and out, you know? Don't forget the hyperdrives. Thank you. I always forget the hyperdrives. All right, how are we looking so far? How are we looking so far? I think this is honestly fine. 117 crew, we've got that in spades. We've got a lot of extra power, like... How do y'all feel about that? Hundred and thirty two crew. Okay. May I suggest a two crew bunk below the crystal matrix opposite? Oh, like right there? Uh, we're already over crewed. I don't think we need it. We're already overstaffed rather, not over crewed. Uh, so what I could actually do is this. just fill that space. Put a prism outside so you can aim it? No, no, no. I'm just going to aim the ship. I'll just point the ship where I want to shoot. It's fine. Can I get in from the back here? I can. Okay. Fire extinguishers. We have fire extinguishers here. And... Let me put in the 1A. Eh? Here. Some of those bottom ones won't get doors? Nope. I set them up so they do get doors. See? Like that. Since you're relying on a single primary damage source, so you probably need to tank some shots reliably. Yes, uh, we've done that before. <laughs> that was that was literally what our life was as a. Uh, that was literally what our life was as the railgun as well, right? Oh, 
I don't have a power source here. That means our people are going to have to carry power from all the way up there to get all the way down here. Uh, that's probably a mistake. Is that a mistake? Surge knows he's using six more crystals than he needs. What do you mean? Oh yeah, that that stupid angle thing. I'm I think it looks better. I think it looks better. I'm I'm bougie like that. Look, if you if you and the other peasants can only afford six fewer diamonds that's on you that's not on me any more shields up front nah yeah i got that diamond money chat get on my level Did you claim about aiming the railgun a lot? Yes and no, Takash. So we'll have this set at fire at will. And the nice thing about the laser is it will fire constantly. So I just have to point the ship so the laser is always hitting. As opposed to what we had previously where it was only a single projectile. And so there's a lot of times where it wouldn't shoot. There's a, there's a very subtle but important difference there. You know what I mean? Not quite. <laughs> Not quite, Neo. That will only fire if there's something in the window. Yeah, I'll just simply always point the ship at the enemy. The prism inside will turn to face your target. You can lock it. Apparently, that's a that is a setting that you can toggle. Yeah. Simply set it to always firing. Oh yeah. yeah. When in combat, just always fire forehead. <laughs> All right. Uh, important question: Do I do I stingray this and bring it down too? in order to put a power source at the base here. I don't know. I'm also missing a door here. That's more elegant. The engines need a reactor. That's what we're talking about in poetry. So technically we have enough power and they'd be bringing tier threes down. But that's a long way to go. Do I know what a cheese slicer is? What's a cheese? I mean, I know what a cheese slicer is. The context of the game, though, I don't know what a cheese slicer is. Crew rooms south of the reactors are missing doors. Crew rooms south of the reactor, nice catch, are missing doors. I would love to get a reactor in here somewhere. You can have crystals facing each other to build up a near limitless charge and make a beam melee weapon. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, you put two lasers right across from each other and then you fly your ship and it just... Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that is impossibly cool though. Can we just talk about how impossibly cool that sounds? I 
I'm just going to hit build on this and see what happens. You don't get it. Okay. So the way it works is you have two of these things pointing at each other with crystals. And instead of firing the beam out, they just point at each other. So it, it makes a blade of lasers. And then if this is a ship, you have your blade, you just fly your ship. It has to be wide enough that it, it just goes zoom and you just pass the laser over them. So you make like a giant, like one of those beetles that has the giant mandibles in the front with lines of lasers across it. And you just fly it over the ship. Like think of it like a car wash. Think of it like a car wash, right? Except instead of water, you're hitting them with lasers. <laughs> Do lasers need to be pointed at each other before it's built? I don't know. We'll find out. That's really cool. All right. So first things first, let's just build this. Yeet. Hey, uh, Lydia. Actually, give me a second here. Lydia, Lydia's going to sell some stuff. Because we have far... I can do this, right? It looks so much smaller. You hit sell off and then back it, sell all and back it off. Unfortunately, in that case, I had 6,000 to start with, so it wouldn't have saved me a lot of clicks. You worry some of my lasers might be pointing at scrap? We'll fix that in just a second here. Wow, this is so much smaller. 2,000 extra scrap is what we grabbed from this? Oh my god. <laughs> That's so much stuff! Are we baby? Make another 200 grand here. Oh, right. So what are we, what are we naming this? I don't think this is the shredder anymore, chat. I don't think this is the shredder anymore. All right, this is our science ship. I guess I could sell some of that steel plate. I was just like not actually... My thought instead of selling steel plate is what if I just never take steel plate? You know? <laughs> I feel like that's just faster. Jay in the water. Yo, my friends. Jay in the water... Yeah. Good. Good.
Jay in the Water just hit a Butterbean, which is an amazing milestone, and I'd love it if we could get some hearts, please. That's a very big deal. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, let's talk about some stuff here. Pointy Bit? All right. N Pointy Bit doesn't exist anymore. Uh, your job is Battle Stations. Uh, and Battle Stations are going to operate the shields. Heavy laser batteries. Yeah, you know what? He's heavy laser batteries and shield. Great. Wow. You're so smart. That's exactly what I want you to do. So, that's... that's. Um, oh, I don't have enough people on here yet. One second. Hundred and twenty-eight out of potentially hundred and forty. That's pretty good. Okay, so uh, six, twelve, one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus five people on battery. Excellent. Okay. Next, I want. How many people do you think we need for this? Do you think three rows each, just for? Laser! Uh, just for laser here. Uh, they will be... They're going to be in all black. Yes. So their job... Set everything to zero. Other than... Storage bay. There's no storage on the ship. Doesn't matter. Uh, their job is literally... Fire extinguishers. That's it. You need 16 people for the lasers. 16 people for one or no? Two crew per cannon, however many to carry the power. Okay. So, oh, you're saying 16 just to operate it? And I want some dedicated battery people, right? So. So if that's the case... Right, that room appears to be empty. So this is 6, 12, 18, 24. 24 people per side. Oh, I just realized. Wow, I just realized I have two separate sides here. And that's actually fine. I've got science on the science side. Ship A can't get the ship B and vice versa. So this has to, this is actually two ships in one, with the exception of sensors on one side and that on the other. Oops. <clears throat> is this the reason why they're wearing black? No reason whatsoever. <laughs> I could put a door between the engine rooms. Yeah, I could connect them. That's very clever. You're right. Now they can get across. That was a very good joke, by the way, Deimos. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so now we can equalize if need be. All right, let's go pick a fight. Oh right, what is the what is the speed? Oh wait, we have a new name. What's their name? <clears throat> oh, we zoomy. Hit me with some names. What's our laser friend called? Easy bake. Not bad. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Toasty. Lava lamp. I like I like where these are going. You have something stuck to the front of Lydia? Yeah, that'll happen. Hmm. Hmm. I do like Beholder. I do like Beholder. Oh my god! <laughs> Uh, we've stolen one of their point defense missile systems. Oh my god. 
That's really funny. Wait, is there just a random station here? Hello? Goodbye! My people need me. You got any more people we could hire? No, you don't. Awkward. Whoa, what happened here? <gasps> Loot! Lydia? Lydia? Yo, 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 don't go, don't go. You got some people I could hire? Don't reject me! So rude. Why are you here? If not to get me more crew. Am I still running splat? I uh, they're Eugene now. Oh, you think this is a faction quest target? Yeah, that's possible. I like that it's actually just a bunch of just like separate silos all connected, you know? I like that it shows it's worth a hundred fame if I destroy it. Hello! Hello, you there! Nice! Give me your crew. Oh, right. I need, um, nice. I was going to say, I need EMP missile parts. And actually, to that end, let's get some extra storage here. What's up, Ghostware? Alright, we are now a fully armed... An operational battle station. Let's try this again. All right, we got some uh, some learning to do here. Oh, Lydia. Oh, Lydia. Lydia. Hmm. Lydia's not much of a thinker, is she? That's okay. She can really move it now, though. Alright, so now... We've got this set to... Auto-fire. Nope. Fire at target. Fire only when given a target. Fire at will. How do I keep it from rotating? My understanding is this is now fixed, you know? Uh, and by fixed, I mean... Um, it has a set target. That's it. You saw the infinity sign? Yes, but if it's the infinity sign, I think it starts shooting now. Which is not what I want. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking of which. <laughs> Looks good to you? I mean, all right. Snurge bot! 22 months! Alright. Eugene out of the way. I mean, hold on, hold on. Let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. Uh
What the heck was that? What happened to my laser? The laser is turning! No. No turn. Why is the laser turning? How do I say no turn? How do... Sorry. Apparently, I have not locked it. How do I... I tried to find a button. Oh. How? How I make in straight line? You use the aim prism button and tell it to aim directly forward. There. All right, now rotate. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wait, no. No. Okay, I mean, interesting. No, no, we got there. We got there. It just took a second. All oh, right. Now I say, hey, hey. Stop that. Okay, interesting. All right, I've got a hotkey set up for it now. So when we get into a fight, we go like this. Shing! And we turn it off. All right, what do you think? <laughs> you also need to tell it not to target components. I think we're good now. It's got a aim spot. It's gonna set to auto fire. And then when we get into a fight, I just turn it on. And then everything else will aim and hit specific things. I thought that was great. What'd you think? How many missiles did you use? You fired the EMPs, but no nukes. Okay, that's fine. Let's try again. Gave him the old B Marino. Yes. My one death ray was better than their three death rays. Thank you. Each time you click the target on a component, it will reset the aim. Will it? That's really disappointing if that's the case. That's why you lost aim halfway through. I would think, not the penguins, that I accidentally clicked to target a component before I switched over. I think that's what happened that, but, but let's test it again, right? Let's test it this second time. Also, I'm pretty proud of our ability despite our size. Swing. <laughs> Wait a second, let's go this way. Intercept, intercept. Oh my god, I'm so happy.
<laughs> Rotate back. Rotate back. Oh my god, yes. Did I lose some crew there, though? He almost lost a reactor? Nah. All right, y'all want more armor, eh? Hold on, I can give you more armor. It's gonna slow us down. What in the world happened over here? <clears throat> There's also a line directly from the leftmost gun into the reactor. Yeah, that'll happen. Not being able to focus on enemy ship parts is not great. Yeah, but we have a death laser. I don't know. I think death laser trumps that problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop rotating. All right, new plant, just get closer.
simply get closer. Lydia? Lydia? <laughs> Lydia, you're not helping? Oh, this is a problem. Uh, hello? I think Lydia may have just killed us there. Um, hello? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Lydia. Lydia, Lydia, Lydia. Hey, look, we still have a ship. Uh, sir? Sir? Excuse me. Excuse me. Lydia, you're a delight. Fourteen crew live. That's all you need. That should be enough for us to get home. Amazing. Delightful. Let's go ahead and uh, hit that old Justy Trail home, shall we? All right. Well, there's some there's some learning, there's some learning to be done when it comes to. Uh... Oh, hey, look. Oh, I lost some people there too, didn't I? Wait, I maybe should have bought everybody on the wrong ship there. Yeah, because now. That's fine. We're learning. How many people does Lydia need? I can move 10 people over. Oh, that's a mistake. Stop! Stop, you fool! No! Not like this! <laughs> uh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thankfully, friendly fire isn't on. Yeah. Oh, my God. Stab ray is the best idea. Stab ray is the best idea. Now, uh, ooh, hold on real quick. Hello. I want to hire some people from you. Perfect. I'll take them both. We're rich ish. I think we have to call it there, my friends. I have um, I have desert bus work that I have to do. All right, we have laser. <laughs> we have laser. Hey, thank you so much for joining, everybody.
This has been absolutely delightful. I really appreciate everybody hanging out. Uh, I loved our conversation on like laser math. And now we have an owl emote. You know, what a what a great morning it's been, eh? Uh, if you don't know, Desert Bus for Hope is a large charity event. It's a charity marathon event that starts this Saturday. It's going to be taking over my life and I will not be streaming because I'll be streaming there. Uh, last year, we raised over a million dollar in dues American for Child's Play Charity, an organization that gets toys and games to sick kids in hospitals all over the world. Can't go for five more minutes. I actually went 10 minutes over time. I was supposed to be down at 11. I'd love it if you came in and watched the event, donated if you're able to do so. But yeah, thank you everybody for all the support here at the personal channel as well, for helping me wake up early during the whole week and just absolutely blowing me away with kindness all day. I could not do this without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, if you're new and you enjoy the vibes, I'll be taking a week off, but I appreciate if you come back. So give a follow. And other than that, thank you. You're all delightful. I'm so lucky that you let me do what we do. All right. Now, uh, oh, Thirsty Kitty, thank you for the 56 month sub at the very end there. Nya, indeed. We're going to go raid my buddy Ben Ben. Uh, ben Ben is streaming a game called Moonbreaker, which is sort of like a, an XCOM 40K game, but you can also paint your minis. Uh, and it's some hashtag sponsored content. So let's go give him a bunch of support for that. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you in a week if I don't see you at the charity event. Maybe we'll do a bonus stream tomorrow. No promises. It'll depend how much work I have to do. Thanks, everyone. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.